um, I'm looking forward. Anything else that you all want to, or the Rotary Club, or the IT for Dominica, whatever else they have that they can contribute in terms of technology assistance and so on, whatever else they can give, we'll gladly welcome it. Because ultimately what we want is to help our students. And all of these devices will really help, help us in basically teaching our students. When you use technology in the classroom, it, it makes the lessons come alive. It's no longer abstract, it's, it's real, you can, you can see. Just imagine you, you're doing something in science where you can actually look at a video on YouTube where you're actually seeing it, a, a good reenactment of the, 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 the real thing. So that is the way to go and I fully support it. Based on the schools that I've worked before, it's like, um, yes, you would have internet at the school, you would have Wi-Fi, but it's, it's, it's not used on a, in a classroom. Yes, if you're doing, like I taught in a secondary school, if, you, if you're doing IT, you go to the computer lab and you have access to the computers and you do some work and so on. But with what is being proposed here, where you actually you can fully integrate technology into the classroom, I've not seen it on that level. Okay? So again, I think that's just really a good idea where you have this, it's like it's going to complement whatever the teacher does in the classroom. It's really empowering to the teachers. It's like you will spend, as a teacher, you're going to spend less time, um, let's say, writing on the board, okay? Less time explaining things. So you as a teacher, your role becomes a guide. It's like it's a more constructivist form of, of um, approach, basically, to teaching and learning where you allow the students to construct their own meaning. The students are more involved in, in, in the lessons. So they are making their own meaning, as opposed to they're just passively sitting and the teacher is saying everything to them and then saying in the end, do you understand? But they never really interacted with the material. They never made meaning of the materials. But with the technology, they are in control. They are in charge. The teacher is guiding them. The teacher is basically giving the support, giving the assistance. But the children are the ones really moving forward and taking charge of their own learning. So I'm really for it, man. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I agree with you. My mm. wife is a teacher. So okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I know okay. how it feels. Okay. Would, you say, mm. would you say that it challenges the teachers to kind of freshen up their Definitely, man. Definitely. I mean, let me tell you, the, okay, the, the antiquated form of, of, of teaching and learning where the teacher is like the boss in the class, the teacher is, appears to be the only person with all the knowledge and they come with all the knowledge. These days are, are gone, all right? The students are exposed to so much information and it's not about you, the teacher alone. There are students who will come to the classroom with certain pieces of information or knowledge that you, the teacher, you might not even know. So it, 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 it ensures that you as a teacher, you have to be like on the cutting edge. You have to improve because if you're going to implement technology in the classroom, you have to be ahead of the curve. You cannot be behind because the students can embarrass you. Okay? So you have to know, you have to be more familiar with, with um, the tech, if, if an issue comes up, you have to know how to basically try to resolve that quickly and so on. Because trust me, there'll be a child in, this, in the classroom that'll stand up and say, okay, miss, that's what you have to do to fix it. All right? So I think, and with, with, the, with the new form of teaching now, which is the integration of technology in the classroom, you as a teacher, it ensures that you must familiarize yourself with what is out there. So that in itself improves the individual teacher. So no longer you're just depending on a book. A book is limited. Now you have the world, world Wide Web, which is unlimited. And as such, if you have to expose yourself to that, you have to expose yourself with all the new pieces of information that is coming out. Because we need to understand that information becomes obsolete after a time. Okay? Things that were, were accepted as true, let's say, five years ago, has now been modified or has even been changed. We cannot be teaching the old things, things that are now obsolete, and the students are exposed to the web, and they're discovering, oh, well, what Miss said is not true. Because look, they're saying that, and Miss is teaching that. A conflict, all right? So.